Facebook. Do you want me to help you with comments? Or are you? Uh, I think I'll be okay. okay. Facebook is online. We are waiting for YouTube to respond. You just don't want to sit in front of the drawer. <laughs> that drawer does get in the way, that pesky drawer. we got to think of something else. There we are. Okay. Oh, guess what, Diane? It's you. It's me? You and her. <laughs> 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 we'll have to have everybody peek in. Okay. Oh, YouTube's up. We're doing good. Oh, good. Good job, YouTube. Good job, YouTube. Tracy uh, says, it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Making sure we have everything. Tracy says, it's Tuesday. Oh, I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> okay. Just got to. I remember my first live. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> Can you explain your joke to me? Yeah. I was teasing. I was teasing my wife. I was on like four because lives before you even worked for this company. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know She's what right. Let's Make She's Art right. was. <laughs> <laughs> before like it's November. True. It's true. You were gone. <laughs> I was like, oh, I did this painting on this cool, this cool company I'll start it. He's like, oh, cool. That sounds great. <laughs> Rita asked if there's any chance you can do the Golden Retriever live at some point. We'll try. I think, I think we can maybe work it in. The hard thing is every Tuesday is filled up with other <laughs> projects. But Rita, I will make an effort to make that happen for you. Also, that was just a harder project in general. That so was. a live would probably be good. That would be a good idea. A we do a quick we do a quick highlight live. Yeah, or maybe I'll just do like a quick I think people had a hard time with the fur yeah. on the chest. So maybe I'll just go over that part. Yeah. See if that's good. Okay. Can you turn the camera? Towards you. Yeah. You see this. <laughs> you can move. This is like I get one yeah, shot. Over you can move on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you can move it all over. Let's see what that says. She's the one that. I didn't even have to be in here. I would paint over there. Garbage. Drive the 350 miles. Kanan, don't. This is her moment. Don't take her moment from her. <laughs> well, she yeah, wants to be cut off. Have to be here. <laughs> okay, move more. I tried to make it in rotate. picture. Yeah, and then angle it this way. <laughs> oh, look at your <laughs> Okay, let's see what it looks like after you moved it. Uh, still not enough, Keenan. Oh, hold on. Keenan. You're on a super delay right now. There oh, it is. There, okay. You're just going to see the light behind you. Hi, Chloe. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're good. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job, you. you guys. Uh, Suzanne Dannison loves your patriotic shirt. Oh, thank that you. Cool. <laughs> I like you, so it's fine. <laughs> You're a super fan. <laughs> Susan said she would also like to see the Retriever live. Okay. Okay, I hear you guys. Okay. This is one of those purchases where I was like, I can't decide if I hate it or love it, but I need it, and so. That's um, when you know it's right. Exactly, and I was, I just, I was looking for the right moment to wear it, and tonight yeah. seems appropriate. It's perfect. It's truly is perfect. <laughs> there are some things where I'm just like, do I love it because it's so ugly? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like a dazzled pocket. It's like, so great. I need it. It's so great. <laughs> Oh, Ramona just had carpal tunnel surgery, so she'll just watch today. Well, thanks yes. for joining us, Ramona. I hope you feel better soon. 
Oh, Valor wants to know how the contest on our watercolor page will be judged. So right now, if you don't know, we have a contest going on on our Facebook group called Let's Make Art Watercolor, where you are doing a painting mashup. So you're going to take two projects, at least two, and combine them into one. And that winner will actually be chosen by random um, because they're all awesome. Because they're all really <laughs> awesome. And so um, I think our um, Raven, who is um, working on that group, said it will be at random. That's how we'll choose the winner. And there will be three winners. Oh, that's oh. awesome. Good. Yeah, yeah. And you get some really fun prizes. If you want to know what they are, you can look on our group. I think it's under the announcements. So, perfect. Brittany says she loves when Suzanne joins. Oh, thanks. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Suzanne. Get a fan. <laughs> if you get any more, uh, I'm going to kick you off. I <laughs> Listen. I need to go to. I'm sorry. Can you there. leave? <laughs> Joey Tribbiani doesn't share food. Sarah doesn't share the spotlight. I do not. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, the mashups have been really good. Have you guys been seeing that yes. on the groups? Yes. So cool. Have you done one? Not yet. Vicky. I want a twin. I actually <laughs> like the, um, have you the flag with the eagle one. I'm thinking of oh, that. Oh, like that. that one's so good. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> the eagle flag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was really neat. I know, I think at first I was going to combine those and have those as one project. And then I was like, you know, it might be fun to split those into two. Um... Oh, Meg needs a link to the t-shirts. I think somebody can send you a link, Meg. We'll get it for you. Oh, Brittany says she loves me too. Well, <laughs> thank you. <She> doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Who doesn't love you? What time are we at? 7.12. Okay. Um, great, you guys got yours taped down. And then we have the extra sheet where we'll do some warm-ups. And put my graphic paper on the right way this time. Yes. <laughs> That's going to be important. Oh, I got an extra. Whew. I know, me too. I'm like, man, I need to have some pump up music going. <laughs> Kenan, give me a beat. Should be patriotic music. Patriotic music? Beatboxing. I don't know any patriotic beatboxing. Come up with something. My country, tis of the. Oh, we uh, we've got a lot of people joining us from YouTube. Hello? <laughs> Not changing the subject or anything. <laughs> Bonnie also chimed in on the Retriever Live. All right, all right, we'll do it. We'll do it. Well, then I'll wait. The I'm people have it. spoken. <laughs> the people have spoken. I hear you. I know what you want. I will give it to you. What if that one we also had technical difficulties? Like a tornado? Yeah. <laughs> we could probably time that fairly well. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're doing it live tonight. No. Oh, it's a tornado. Dang it. <laughs> Darn. Yeah. I know. Hi, Sarah, Keenan, and gang. Tree hugging Buddhist. Ooh. Oh, hello. I like that. She, she's a regular for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We got people from Alabama. Texas. Oh, Nancy says, hi, llamas. <laughs> That's what we are. Hi from Maine. Lots of first timers tonight. Oh, so excited you can join us. This is a fun little project, I think. Let's get started. Okay, let's go. I'm just ready to go. I was going to say, let's rock it out. All right. Okay. These stars are going to be a beast. They are. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Okay, welcome everybody to Let's Make Art. Thank you so much for joining us this Tuesday evening. We have a lot of people here, um, and Mallory, you're gonna have to like, <laughs> when we. <laughs> so I'll introduce everybody. I am Sarah Cray. Um, this is Vicki here. Hi. This is Suzanne, Keenan's wife. 
She also works customer service and she does a fabulous job. Somebody has to make money in the family. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's money. true. I haven't been paid I since not March. Make <laughs> and then we have Diana next to Suzanne. And then we have Mallory at the end. So, welcome. Oh, and Keenan's on video. He's. I'm just in the background. He's the voice you hear. He the provides voice us with from behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> he does great voices. <laughs> he provides us with interesting facts. Are they accurate? I don't know. No one knows. No one knows. Usually. Actually, you all Actually, know. You, and you we call us out a lot. to listen to what you have to say. So, <laughs> so tonight we are doing the American flag. Um, so we have an outline for that. You can find that on our website if you don't get our box or the kit. Um, you can just download it, find the American flag kit, download it, and you can print it out. Um, we are using two colors tonight, just red and Tahoe blue, and there's no color mixing, I think, for the first time ever. I know. <laughs> Diane's like, I'm all for that. <laughs> I won't mess that part up. <laughs> Meg asked if Keenan ever paints, and he was on a live, actually. He did the... Uh, Geometric landscape, correct? Yeah, yeah, I called it the flat earth painting. Yeah. Flat earth painting. <laughs> yes. He did it at home the other night. He does a good job. Thanks. Yeah. Sometimes I come into the store and he's by himself with music pumped up all the way in his painting. I kid you not, it's that happened. Is, it makes true. me really happy. It is true. <laughs> some 90s R&B and yes. some paint. There we go. And we are using two paintbrushes today. We are using a round six and a round two. They're our go-to brushes. We love them very much, or I do. Hopefully you do too. Mm -hmm. And um, they're just on our website if you need them. They're the Princeton Heritage Series. And we are using Canson Watercolor 140 pound cold press paper. We also sell that on letsmakeart.com if you need some extra. Um, if you get our subscription box, I highly recommend you to just add a pad of paper to your box because we give you a decent amount of paint, and that way you can just keep on painting with the paint we give you, and you can share your supplies and do it with a friend or something like that. Um, so, we just have two steps in this project, which is do the blue part and then paint the stripes. That's it, just one, two, okay? <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> you guys, we can do this one. So, um, let's start by tracing, and then we'll do our oath and our warm-ups, and then get into the project. So. When you are tracing your paper, what you the first thing you want to do is get your outline and tape it to your paper. And I tried to make sure my flag was mostly centered on my paper. And you can use painter's tape to tape it or Wasi tape. And then, <laughs> Barb asked if we're using masking fluid. And that's the only way that will work for her, which is a good point. You guys, if you have masking fluid, do you guys know what that is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's really amazing stuff. It's like liquid glue, essentially. So if you wanted to, what you would do is you would basically mask the white stars with the masking fluid, let that dry, paint over it completely. And when that dries, you can rub off the masking fluid and it keeps whatever underneath it is completely white. So super helpful to have. We're not using this in this project. Mm -hmm. But if you have it, you can definitely use it. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Okay, and then um, Amy says we seem a little fuzzy tonight. Um, just if we want to check the over, is that overhead or front facing, Amy? If it's front facing, there's not much I can do. Okay. If it's the overhead, I can I can help a little. Okay, we'll see what she says. I can't tell on my little uh, phone. Okay, so after you have this taped down to your paper, you're then gonna take your graphite paper. There are two sides to your graphite paper. Usually you wanna do the darker side, which is where the graphite paper is, like the graphite part is on your graphite paper. So you're gonna do that dark side down. And the reason why I like to tape it is because then you can like, um, you can, uh, like lift up and see what it looks like underneath without losing your spot. So it's super helpful. They're, they're saying it's clear, so we should okay. be okay. It may be internet. Okay, yeah, it could be your internet too. Okay, and then you start tracing and whatever mark you make on your paper, including if you're pushing really down on your finger, that will also make a mark using graphite paper. So just kind of be aware of that. It's, if it's really new, it's sensitive, and also graphite paper is totally reusable, and it gets better over time because it's not as sensitive, so you won't have as many of those accidental marks. Um, when you start tracing, try and keep the line as light as possible because watercolor is transparent, so you would see 
the lines through the watercolor. I'm gonna use a pencil because I want my lines to be darker so you guys can see what I'm doing. I gave you guys markers. Um, markers are much easier to use to trace because one, it's a colored color. It's a color, so you can see what you've already traced. Mm -hmm. And also, it just is a softer tip naturally, so it's gonna create a softer line. So, um, so what I like to do is I'll just start, and then after I make my first mark, oh, oh shoot, Keenan, I need another pencil <laughs> pronto. <laughs> Over there. Over there. Where's over there? Yeah. <laughs> and then after you make your mark, you can pull up your paper and just see how dark or how light it is and then adjust. I'm glad I'm, I'm heavy handed, so I appreciate that. I only have pens, Sarah. I can take a pen. Anything will work for tracing a pen, pencil, marker, even the back of your paintbrush, even a fingernail in a pinch. You know what I mean? Like any place where you can make a line. Why'd you make that face at me? I just have to get on the other side of this camera. You can go underneath. Okay. <laughs> or you could just walk in front of it. People know no who you are. <laughs> now they know what you look like. That worked. It was incredible. Did it really work? Yes, it did. That's so great. And then it's also easier for me to do lines going like up and down instead of side to side. So if you want to turn okay. your paper, feel free to. <laughs> Vicky's yeah. like, Ugh. I have a like line or like a crack in the table so I'm like I have to do it. <laughs> yeah just it's totally okay to turn your paper to whatever angle you need. Um, another thing that is sometimes helpful is using something especially for something like this where it's a lot of straight lines a ruler is really mm -hmm. handy to have. Mm -hmm. Do I have that? No we're just gonna freehand it. Paper edge. <laughs> you can use a thicker paper like your other paper as an edge maybe your reference photo. It's all right. We're going organic here. Mm -hmm. Organic. Also, after you do your stripes, you're going to start on the stars. This is going to take a really long time, and I'm sorry. Also, um, it's even with an outline, it is so hard to get straight lines and straight angled stars. So mine are going to be really wonky, and I hope that makes you feel better if yours are wonky, because it's, it's actually really hard to get those. So I'm just going to have wonky little stripes and wonky little stars, and it's okay. Diana's killing it over here with the lines. Is she? Uh -huh. She's just going around across. Diana, awesome. do you want to do mine? <laughs> what if I'm like, I'm like, let me see your paper, and I just take her outline. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, eyes on your own paper. Isn't that what you always say? You make it your own. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's true. Not comparing. <laughs> um, the tracing paper is included in the kit. It is in your Let's Make Art Matter postcard. So there's a little postcard in there that says Let's Make Art Matter for, and then it has a picture and some information. Inside of that is your graphite paper. Also, in the welcome card, it tells you where to find the graphite paper and how to use it. So, it should be in there. If you look in there and you discover it is missing, just email us at hello at letsmakeart.com and we will send you a replacement stat. You can also use different ways to transfer images. You don't have to use graphite paper. Um, you can use a light box. You can hold it up to a window and trace. Um, or something else is you can um, actually make your own graphite paper by just by just taking the back of a paper and just like filling it with graphite, like covering the whole thing, and then using it like you would graphite paper. With graphite, you mean using a pencil, yes? Yes. So just take a pencil and, um, you know, make a bunch of lines and then trace it, if that makes any sense. Can you picture what I'm saying? I know what you mean. Okay, It great. does, like I you used to, with a coin, you yeah. put the coin underneath the paper and shh. Yeah. You know sure. Okay. Sure, Keenan. <laughs> I did different things at home, I guess. <laughs> I've seen where somebody took a casserole dish and put their phone on the flashlight. Yes. Setting. Oh, that's genius. And yes. put a casserole dish on top of it and made a, a light box for you. Yeah, yeah, I think we did that with Nicole yeah. in her lettering. Yeah. And she's like, if you don't have a light box, just make one. Yep. I think my casserole dish is still here from that demonstration. Probably. <laughs> We've also used a round and a rectangle dish. We have. Oh. All kinds of different crazy ideas. This is primitive stars, right? Yep. <laughs> <coughs>
Christina says her 10 year old son Connor is painting with her tonight, making a flag for his dad who is a soldier. Aww. And he says hello. Aww. So hi Connor, thanks for painting with Welcome, us. Connor. Welcome, I'm sure your dad's gonna love this. All right, now we start on the stars. Now something that I do that is sometimes helpful for me because it, um, sometimes you like to plant your hand when you're tracing, right? And that could potentially leave a mark. Maybe not always, but sometimes what I'll do is I'll just move the graphite paper just to where I'm tracing. So then I can like plant my hand and it's okay. So. How are your stars coming out? <laughs> my first, <laughs> my first one's not that great, but that's okay. You would think it'd be really easy to draw I a straight line. I know. <laughs> not so much. This is just training your dexterity or increasing your dexterity in your hands. Yeah. I usually love really detailed stuff, but dexterity is a real word. <laughs> it is. It is a real word. Yeah, we know. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Keenan's like, just so you know, I use that word correctly. And it sounds made up, but it's real. And it's on camera. Is that the word for the day? And we have actual proof. <laughs> Unlike that word photosynthesis, that's fake. Yeah. It's a fake word. <laughs> Suzanne, I don't know how to respond to that. Should I tell you it's real? <laughs> you just say, yeah, <laughs> science, am I right? <laughs> say hi to my little painting buddies. They're not painting tonight because we're here. Yeah. Uh, but they'll have, we will get together and paint this together. It's my granddaughter, Chloe Hinkle. And, and my granddaughter, Lily Marshall. Yeah, her granddaughter. Lily and Chloe. Lily and Chloe. Hello. Hello. Chloe is eight and, and Lily, Lily is nine. nine and they, Lily's they only done one. <laughs> Well, hello. I'm so glad you guys paint. And maybe one day they can come up on the live. Well, I don't know. No? <laughs> I'd have to come back. <laughs> because, like, it's a really long drive. Oh, it's worth it. We've had How long was your drive? Five hours. Well, it was supposed to be five hours. Yes. You... 350 miles. Dang. So. I'm driving to Tennessee this Friday because it's um, I'm visiting my sister. She just had a new little baby girl. I'm so excited to go meet her. Oh. But I, it's like a nine hour car drive and I'm like, ooh. I got two little girls and I'm like, okay. Snacks, it's pretty country, toys. It's pretty. Yeah, so what we started doing on road trips is I just go to like the dollar store and I buy a bunch of toys and I wrap them up and every hour they get to open a new toy or snack. Oh, so cool then it cheese. just... Are you listening, baby? I'm going to know. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we would like wrapped toys, please. please. <laughs> or chocolates. That would be Ooh, good. Oh, good too. Isn't that yes. Nice? Okay, I'm almost done with my stars, I think. Geraldine on YouTube said, I gave up on the stars and used Dr. B PH Bleed Proof White. Genius. Genius. That is a great idea. Deanne says, I don't have the patience for these stars. I will be using masking fluid. <laughs> Some people use like a, is it called a die cut? Yeah. 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 And they like... I don't know how it works, but it essentially worked as masking fluid and then they just tore it off and it looked beautiful. I wish I could give you a better description of how that worked, but I truly don't know. <laughs> Isn't a die cut where they just cut shapes out of paper? Yeah, they're all like uniform size. Yeah, uniform. Yeah. That's a real word too. That is a real word. <laughs> I think we know somebody who needs a dictionary. <laughs> Can I be like, look up this word, what does it mean? Okay. If I can spell it, I'll look it up. 
Well, I'm not a great speller either, so shoot! We can't even do that. I'll just speak it into Siri. <laughs> I'm a big speller, I'll help you. Oh, Susan said my son Daniel is watching and now he would also like dollar store toys and snacks on trips. <laughs> Ooh, so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, my hand is like, I'm done with these. Yeah. And my Are you sure there's only 50? <laughs> I have been asked to answer this question that has been asked twice, but Sarah's, I don't know if I'm saying this name right. It's S-A-R-A-E, wants yeah. to know the name of your Etsy shop. Oh, okay. Uh, I have an Etsy shop that is currently on vacation, so if you look for it in Etsy, it will not show up, <laughs> but it's called uh, Dandelion Paper Co. So that's where I sell some of my prints that I made before I started Let's Make Art, and I put it on vacation because I wasn't doing a good job mailing people's orders out on time because I was doing this. So sorry about that. Mm -hmm. And um, once I'm in a more organized place, it will go back on. So. There you go. Please stand by. Yeah. Oh, well, someone wants to know the name of my new niece. Her name is Gemma. Oh, that's oh, cute. cute. I know. She's a cute little thing. Okay, finally. <laughs> Am I the last one? Uh, my yes. Like cramping up. Suzanne, can you pick it up, Sorry. please? Switch your hands if you need to. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> okay, and after you outline it, put it off to the side because we're going to do our warm ups. Do you want to do O first? Yes. I'm just, I'm not going to do it without Suzanne. I only have five. Minutes. Leave no man behind, you know what I mean? <laughs> you got this. You're doing a really great job. No pressure. <laughs> But we're trying to finish this project. <laughs> you just have two more. You got this. I don't have a great grip on my pen. Maybe that's why it's cramping. Yes. Sorry, Nicole, that was a terrible, terrible grip. In case you're watching. Okay. So, beautiful job. Oh, thanks. Okay, we're going to do our oath before we paint. So everybody needs to raise their right hand and repeat after me. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise to have fun. Thank you. And I love starting off that way because sometimes we get so intimidated by a blank piece of paper and sometimes we're like, oh no, I'm gonna screw this up. And it's like, you know what? It's fine. This is just about having fun, trying something new, or learning something, or just spending time with someone. That's all it is. So, um, oh, my little, my daughter Ella is at home watching with my mom, and she says, hi, mom. So, mm -hmm. hi, Ella. Hello. <laughs> I love you. Okay. So, we're going to do our warm-ups, and we're just going to do a couple of them. Um, basically, I just want to show you um, how you can get different values. Um, by just adding water because that's pretty much the only thing that we're going to be working on during our flag is um, Okay, I'll just go into it. So grab your paintbrush any size It doesn't matter and you're gonna want to get it wet and then after you get it wet You actually hit it off the side of your cup to get rid of the excess drips and I'm actually touching the bristles to the side of my cup and Then what I'm going to do is I am going to pick up a color any color you want and then I'm going to lay it down on my paper. Okay. And this is like an even value right here. Is that okay? Yeah, I like that blue. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I've had, <laughs> the first time I've had Tahoe blue. It's a good <laughs> color, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Tahoe blue and red is what we're using, so they're great colors. So this is one value here. And then with watercolor, instead of adding white paint to make a, a color lighter in value, you just add water. So I'm just going to dip my paintbrush a couple of times, hit it off the side of my cup, and you can even go right where you left off if you want, or you can start a new one, but you can see that that color is already a lighter color than what you originally laid down. And keep going. Keep going until you can barely get any color, because with watercolor, 
um, especially if you're used to painting in other mediums, you think that this really, really light color that I'm just laying down right now is too light, but it is not too light for watercolor. That's the beauty with watercolor is you want to have a barely there color. It's really, um, and this is why I like watercolor. It's really subtle, but people notice those changes. So. So then when we're doing like the red stripe on the flag, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll actually, and this is a, another technique, is I'm gonna grab just water, I'm gonna lay down water, and I'm gonna pretend like I'm painting a stripe, but you don't have to, you can do any shape. And then I'm gonna grab some red, and while it's still wet, I can drop that in the water, and it's gonna spread and move around. This is called wet on wet. And it's pretty amazing. That is my favorite technique. Yeah, it's the best. And then sometimes if you like, after you get it wet like this and you dropped it and you're like, okay, that's fun, but I want the whole stripe. Well, just, you know, help it move. Nothing wrong with that. Just be like, come on, little, come on, little fella, move around. <laughs> now, I like to like, when I'm doing this, I like to barely move it around because I want to keep my slight value changes. However, if you want to even it out, um, which sometimes you do, is if you just work that space back and forth over and over again, it will eventually even out. So just a word to the wise, if you wanna keep it different values, then don't mess with it as much. If you wanna even it out, then just work your paintbrush back and forth and that value will even out. This paintbrush, I like it. It's like it holds a lot more water than yeah. any paintbrush I've done do. Yes, that's Quite why I different. love the that's why I love the this this paintbrushes because it holds the water really well, but it still has a really nice tip and it has a really nice snap back. Snap back. Snap. Yeah. So if you were to like press hard on it, it snaps back into place really quick. Where other watercolor brushes is like a mop, where if you bend yeah. it, it just kind of it stays that way. <laughs> it doesn't like <laughs> you like bend it and then it like. <laughs> it's just stays. I've put that exact move on repeat in a video before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're saying that the red looks a little bit orange on screen. Which one? That could be your screen. But this red is also a um, uh, uh, warmer red, so it does have orange undertones to it, which I'm okay with. And yeah, so that's okay. Um, but other reds have more like of a purple undertone, some are neutral, but that could be why. I think we're ready to go. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start on step one, which is the star part. So on this part, I'm actually gonna use my round two because it's smaller. And when you're painting smaller areas, it's much easier to paint smaller areas with a smaller brush. So you're just going to grab your round two and you're gonna grab your Tahoe Blue, and you're just gonna start painting around your stars. So, uh, oh, one thing I should've went over on the warm up, I'll just do it really quick, is when you paint using your brush vertical hold, so you see how up and down it is, you can get a thinner line. If you paint mm -hmm. on the side, like having your brush more horizontal, and you press down, you can get a thicker line. So both, utilize both of these while you're doing your stars because what I like to do is I like to use um, the like vertical hold when I'm kind of outlining the stars because I'm trying to get a thin line to kind of shape it. And then when I'm filling in between the stars, I'll use the side of my brush more because it fills in a thicker space. And again, it's okay if your stars are a little bit wonky shaped. It does give them character. Makes them yours. Heed. Heed. Keenan, you're gonna have to come up with some great American flag facts for us. Okay, because okay. we're going to be concentrating, trying to fill in these tiny little spaces for a while. <laughs> no. 
Melanie on YouTube asked, are we supposed to tape it like in the tutorial? Oh, Melanie. Oh my gosh, you're so right. I'm so sorry, everyone. Put your paintbrushes down. Yeah. I'm sorry I missed this. Where is the tape? Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so what I did in the tutorials, I actually used this blue painter's tape to paint, to tape the edges off. So then if it did, if I did go outside the line, it's okay because the tape protected it. Mm -hmm. Gosh, Melanie, yeah. thank you so much for reminding me and I'm so sorry I forgot that. So I'm just gonna rip these off and then I'll hand the tape off to you guys. And, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I guess I'm getting kind of crazy with the length. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. So just do all four sides. Do some. Flag facts. That's what Kathy said, in all caps. She's really excited about Flag it. facts! <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a little bit longer than paper top. No. Please. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Is that enough? Yeah, that, that should be good. I didn't watch the tutorial. I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> Risky. Risky. <laughs> Risky. You live on the edge. Okay, here's a longer piece. What do we need? You need a shorter? Um, one short one there and one short one. Two short ones here. Right? No, no, you have enough. Never mind. I think we're good. This is okay, and you need a long. need a long then. Fun with flags. That's what Heidi said. That's going to be flags. that's going to be Keenan's segment. <laughs> and welcome to Fun with Flags. <laughs> I think that was Melanie who reminded me, and I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much. Okay. Oh, I need one more. <laughs> Sarah. Okay. Now, if you really want to, some I, I'm not this way, but if you wanted to um, like go in and like do one stripe at a time, you could potentially tape around each stripe, paint it, let it dry, tape around the next strip. So if you really want those lines to be just so clean, that's something you can do. You might do it around the blue, but that's... Oh yeah, you can do it around the blue. Just so that it doesn't bleed. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it though. It'll probably dry in time. There was something that happened on the tutorial about a lot of water with the tape. Yes but I don't remember exactly what it was. So I think that sometimes when you have a lot of water and, um, cause it bled a little bit, even though I taped it off, there was a little bit of a fuzzy top on mine. And I think that just happens when um, it's, I, it happened in the areas where the paint was super concentrated. So um, yeah, so look out for that. But it's totally random too, because I feel like I've painted with painter's tape and got like the cleanest line. And then um, sometimes it just bleeds a little bit underneath the tape. So I wish I can tell you more information, but I can't, because I'm not sure. I think it's just when it's super con concentrated, but. Okay, so I'm just using so the, the thing I want you to remember when you're doing this blue part is you don't, if you want to, you can keep the blue totally even in value, like have it just solid dark or solid light or whatever. What I like to do just because I really love value variation is I will put down a dark color and then just use water to spread it out as much as I can and then put dark again next to it so it has a value change within the blue part of the flag. The variation? Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. Or another really fun thing is like how we did our wet and wet is if you just want to do the area using just water mm -hmm. and then you can drop in the dark blue color in there and it will just spread on its own and create really cool textures. So that's another option you can use. I have a fact about the name of Old Glory. 
Okay. So the origins, Old Glory was the nickname of a specific U.S. flag that owned by Sea Captain William Driver. That owned by, I didn't write this. <laughs> okay. He was given the flag by his mother and other women in his hometown of Salem. He named it Old Glory upon seeing it flying on his ship's mast in 1831. Wow. The name later went on to become synonymous with any American flag. Oh. Is it bad that I didn't know Old Glory was synonymous with any American flag until right now? <laughs> no, because no. now you know. And now I know. Yeah, And that's matter. what we're all about, really, that's is right. learning. That's right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is my head getting in the way, Keenan? I was just about to say something. Okay. But I wasn't using that camera anyway, so it's okay. You're having the hardest time with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do some like hand exercises. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of a new names for your brushes, but I don't know if you want to. I would love to hear them. Walker and Texas Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Quinn and Medicine Woman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one of my cousins has two dogs that he got at the same time and he named one of them Walker and one of them Texas Ranger. I was like, you're my hero. That's, That's so funny. <laughs> my mom used to watch um, Quinn, Dr. Quinn, Dr. Quinn, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, all the time. What's her name? Jane Seymour. 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 Thank you. I just forgot it. I love her. She's beautiful. We have people who are watching. Um, Lila and Ella. No, El Elia. Elia. I think is what they're saying. So hello. Thank you for watching and painting with us. I was like hovering. <laughs> well, I'm about a third of the way through my blue part on my <laughs> on my stars. You guys are doing great. Jennifer Newman says hi from from Australia. You guys are so much fun to watch. Oh, thanks. She's Jennifer. so nice. And I'm sorry we're painting an American flag. You're from Australia. But there's, I think there's They're a similar nice. colors. Similar colors, yeah. yeah. Similar or same, I think those words mean the same. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in an after school Uh, CJ says they think this is the most relaxing project yet. Oh, yeah. Which I would agree. Yeah. Agree. Oh, I always love, like, super detailed stuff. Like, my favorite part of making a quilt is, like, hand sewing the binding or something. Oh, really? Yeah, I just love that. That is not usually, like, something I just get bored easy. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's do something else. <laughs> let's move on. Next time you need to bind a quilt, just give it to me. I'll do okay. It. Great. Also, can <laughs> you make a quilt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diana's like, all right, great. What's your address? I'm just going to mail that to you. <laughs> And it's on tape, so we know she's. Yeah. <laughs> Verbal contract is binding. It's, on YouTube, you know, it's, it's forever. That's <laughs> legit. It will be there forever. <laughs> the other thing to pay attention to if you are doing blue variation values within the stars is I try and stagger it. Um, so, because sometimes what will happen is our brain has us do patterns without us knowing. 
<laughs> and even dark, even if it's not a direct line, even values though, if it's um, like for example, if I do dark value, dark value, dark value, dark value, dark value, dark value here, it will create an implied line. Oh. So try and stagger where your dark values and light values are so it doesn't accidentally create some implied lines within your painting. Becky has a flag fact. She said flags should only be flown from sunup to sunset unless it is lit. Yep. Correct. Hmm. Keenan, I feel like you know a lot of these flag facts that I'm saying. We've talked about that one. And you're not coming I'm, forth with more flag I'm sorry. fact information. I'm sorry. I, I was trying to, to stretch them out since this is such a detailed <laughs> project. <laughs> <laughs> but I have another fact from, I'm going to say this wrong, Erin Mist. That's one word or name. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, she says, he says, they say. Okay. The flag was first flown on August 3rd, 1777, atop Fort Stanwix in New York. Hmm. Yes. And Sir Ray wants to know where we live. We are in Hamilton, Missouri, which is north of Kansas City. Northeast? Northeast. Yeah. Thank you very much. We were actually told last night at a gas station that you can't get there from here. <laughs> then you were flooded, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> I panicked just a little bit. Mind you, this is like 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, half the state was closed. Highway 65 is. It's still closed. Yeah, it's is still it? closed. Yeah, between Carrollton and Waverly. Yeah, we've been having some crazy rain. It hasn't, well, I haven't been here over the weekend. But isn't it supposed to rain again this week? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one just because the Missouri River is so high, like it's all the rain that they're getting north. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, I mean, like, it's like eight miles between Carrollton and Waverly, and it's all flooded. It's crazy. Okay, I'm about halfway done on the stars. How are you guys doing? Oh, they're looking so good over there. Look at you guys. Diana, your star shapes are so good. Well, thank you. Suzanne, I need you to hurry up. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best. Just kidding. You're doing a really great job. I tree, might move on without you, though. Tree-hugging <laughs> Buddhist asked me, uh, said, Keenan, what is the military name for a flagpole? I do not know. Is, is that code? Is there a military name for I a flagpole? I don't know. I don't... Uh, Are you even in the military? Well, excellent question. Where do you go? I feel like the... I'm not in the honor guard, so I don't deal with the flagpole rules. But you will find out. No. Yeah. Can you Just Google that? <laughs> I'd Google it, but I'm really behind already. <laughs> yeah, nobody distracts Suzanne. <laughs> I'm dragging us down. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking you might have more done than me. She said K guest staff. Is it called a staff? It's a yard arm. Yard arm. Interesting. That is a weird word. Hmm. Quilting Bug 3 Dash Diana mm -hmm. asks, How does watercolor work on canvas? As good as the paper? You have to get a, you can get canvas, but it's a canvas of watercolor. So it's canvas watercolor. There's like, I feel like there's a specific one for watercolor. Um, I don't know because I've actually never painted watercolor on canvas. I've only done paper and then like framed it or something. Um, but I'm fairly certain that there is a watercolor canvas. Yes. Vicky knows? Tried, yeah, I bought them, but I haven't tried it yet. Okay. Because I, li I like the paper. Does it look like a paper, or does it... it well, it looks like a canvas, but uh -huh. uh, um, it is like paper 
like it, a paper texture yeah it reacts it's supposed to react like watercolor paper but I haven't haven't tried it mm -mm. well once you try it let me know okay. how you feel and I'll be like Vicki likes it let's stock mm -hmm. it in the store <laughs> <laughs> Vicky feel the poop. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, <laughs> earlier when I wasn't sure about the name Erin Mist. Uh-huh. Erin Mist? I don't even know how to say it. Uh -huh. uh, she commented again saying Erin Mist is a she from Ireland. Oh. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> is it morning? I don't know. Oh, I'm, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry about him. <laughs> Keenan, what accent do you think you do the best? I used to do a really good Scottish accent. I think you do a good Scottish accent. But it's would, been a long time. Can you, can you do, it? do it? I can't. Yes, you can. It's going to change to Irish. It, that's okay. It always changes. That's okay. Or close or something. What I believe to be Scottish or Irish. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Give me a few seconds. Now I'm on the spot. I'm nervous. Please Keenan, paint the everybody flag. Everybody here likes you. You're fine. <sighs> okay. Okay. Does everybody? <laughs> Maybe Suzanne. Suzanne's yeah, yeah. on the fence. <laughs> no. You're my, I, I remain undecided. Oh. Well, my top of the morning to you joke, Britt says I feel like that's Scottish. So maybe my Scottish accent is better than that. I don't know. That's a good I'm going to stop talking. Well, I know you have to do your accent. Yeah. You're not going to get out of this oh. one, sir. I don't even know what to say. What do you, you said it before. What yeah, do I don't think I can say? say the things I've said before. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> Go, Ken. <laughs> Maybe you should ask what they want to hear you say. I'm going to refuse to move on with this tutorial okay, until you do not. this. <laughs> So I have about one inch left to paint. So, uh... Britt says, uh, this is a safe place, Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone else do a really good accent? No. No? no? Nobody Not even wants to try? Not to do it here. <laughs> mm -hmm. No? I would... Do I? I don't... Never mind. You do, Suzanne, and I would like to hear it. Looking at me. I'm ready. I'm the one on camera, you're not. Yeah, exactly. It's less stressful. Every time I try and do an accent, it comes out like an accent that doesn't Something exist. Something different. Yes. <laughs> or they're like, See, what is it's, that from? It's funny, like, I like to do, I don't even know if it's Boston, but I like to, to, to do the old, uh, can you give me a hot dog? <laughs> I need a hot dog over here. <laughs> Where's the car? <laughs> I like that. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Move aside. Why are they always mean, though? I don't nice think they're hair. mean. I think they're assertive. Yeah, that's a good word for it. They just want a, they just want a hot dog. I used to do Crocodile Hunter. I liked that. Oh, I would like to hear that. Gorgeous. <laughs> Well, that was fantastic. She's a beaut. <laughs> R.I.P. Steve Okay, I'm going to try and use a paper edge to get a clean edge on my blue. So I'm just going to grab my warm-up paper. Or you can use tape, or you can just eyeball it, you know? Why not? When Brock and I used to work at Wendy's together, uh -huh. when we weren't actually working, uh -huh. we would go through the drive through and with a Scottish accent, uh, we would order a large Dr. Pepper and a side of jalapenos <laughs> just to throw people off. Did so it work? Get, oh, yeah, we always got it. <laughs> we, we'd drive up to the drive through and be like, I'd like a large Dr. Pepper <laughs> and a side of jalapenos. <laughs> Bring it to me now. <laughs> 
reminds me of that Austin Powers character. Yes. He's like, get in my belly. <laughs> yeah, he says that. He didn't get in, that. My <laughs> <laughs> I like, I in my belly. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> Ribs. <laughs> People are saying that your accent is maybe a bit more New York or Rhode Island. Oh, the Boston one? Yeah. yeah they that's... said it's not Boston except maybe the car part. My, I try to get the the inspiration from Goodwill Hunting. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, you think you're smart? Oh, what yeah, is my this? buddy's wicked smart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Don says we Bostonians aren't mean. <laughs> we are just animated. <laughs> Whenever um, my oldest brother got married, the first time his his wife was from Boston, uh -huh. we went to visit their family, and his little sister was she, I was like ten or eleven maybe, uh -huh. and she was like, "Oh, you want to play cards?" And I was like, <laughs> "I don't know what that is." Like, it took me a few minutes of her being like, "Cards," like pulling out the cards, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, I love cards." Like it took there was just so much that I was like, "I don't know what you're saying." As an adult, like I can understand it, but. My husband has this unfortunate habit where if he's around someone that has an accent, he will just start talking in an accent to them, but he doesn't realize that he's doing it, and I have to be like, stop it. My grandma does that, and it's the funniest it's thing. It's the really funniest yeah. thing. Yeah, they would travel a lot, and she'd just be like, oh, you're, you're from England? Yeah. And she's just full on English accent yeah. with yeah. them, and they're like, I know. we're not like, sure if you're mocking us. I know, I'm right. like, stop yeah. doing that. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> I always feel like I'm gonna like offend somebody. Wow, my hand is like shaking now. Do you want me to help? Do you need help? Are you, no. Is your hand okay? And my I, hand is fine. Okay. I'm just. If your hand is cramping, you should listen to I your think hand. It was partially also because I just ate like right before we started, and I was like starving, so I think oh, that's why my hand is like yeah. shaking. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine. Even if you guys move on, I don't care. One time I didn't eat for a while, and I filmed a tutorial, and seriously, in it, my hand was like, yeah. and I was like. Well, I'm gonna pause for it. That's when I ate a hot pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't paint like yourself. <laughs> yeah. When you're hungry. Uh, Chad Wendy says it's hard to do little stars when we're when y'all are making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I accidentally cut off a few uh, edges to my stars. I think the the white will be used on mine. The like bleed proof touch, white. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you have bleed proof white, you can totally touch up your stars. I have so many implied lines, I don't even care. I like it. I like it too. You have great bloom textures going on. It's also commercial. Oh, oh Cassandra says that when you uh, do that with accents, it's called mirroring and it's a sign of active, empathetic listening. Ooh, Michael. Oh, that? my gosh. Makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Michael is very empathetic. My husband is a great listener, and he is like great active listener for sure. Yeah. And he is very empathetic, so that would make a lot of sense. That's really cool. Yeah. Amy says she's completely short one star. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Amy. <laughs> what was the last state, Hawaii? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Hawaii. That's what Maria says. She's like, you lost Hawaii. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe it's just behind a fold in her flag. Yeah, maybe the flag is waving. Yeah. We're yeah. losing some stars. It's windy out there. It's windy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are y'all doing? Mallory, how are you doing on the end there? Good. It's looking really great. <clears throat> Cecilia said Sarah's stars look so much better than mine. Cecilia, we're not comparing. One, we're not comparing, and two, it's because you see it far away. That too. <laughs> that too. Uh, trust me, if you put your painting back about five or ten feet, your stars will look much better. It's a little trick I do. I just put things far away and people think I'm really talented. <laughs> you list that as a rule in your Etsy shop. Yeah. <laughs> Must be displayed at least Must ten feet away. Must be displayed by ten feet away. Thank you very much. Do not hang at eye level. <laughs> do not hang at eye level. Must be on the ceiling. <laughs> Okay, we're closing in here. Getting close. We're getting close getting on the close end of our blue yeah, 
star area. You guys are doing great. Are we going to do a check-in when the stars are done? Uh, sure. Sweet. Kind of like a pirate with your stars. 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 I don't know what to do with my hands while I'm, I'm just gonna like softly place them on the, <laughs> gracefully. Does that look natural on the? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna see it? It's terrifying. It's We're like you're trying to hold your hand with yourself, but you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that a thousand percent. <laughs> That is so great. Yes, we'll do a check-in in just a second. Uh, Megan says she's doing masking fluid for the first time. It feels a little tacky. How long to wait before to paint over it? Um, it's going to stay a little bit sticky feeling. As long as you can touch it without any coming off, it's dry. But it does stay that sticky texture the entire time, even when it is dry. And that, and that is because it makes it easier to rub and peel off when you're ready to take it off. Oh, I just have a red mark here. It's not a scratch. I was cleaning paintbrushes and I didn't have a paper towel, so I just used my hand. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's what that is. My daughter made me this blue bracelet tonight, so I'm wearing it. Hmm. Tiffany says she loves how there's no mixing colors in this tutorial. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Mixing can be frustrating. Ooh, Suzanne, you got some work done. Look at you flying. I realized that it looked terrible. Not terrible. Then that's that. Sorry, that was we the don't wrong use word. that. Thank you. Wrong word. Thank you. It looked the same whether I was very precise or whether I just like. <laughs> so I just decided to go crazy. What do you call an American drawing? A Yankee doodle. <laughs> 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 that one really got Keenan. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay, we're going to do a check in while we're waiting. I think Mallory, Mallory, are you done up down there? Okay, great. Let me see. Oh, no. Yeah, no, this is okay. <laughs> This is a safe space. Okay, this is Mallory's here, and she has great color variation really within it. her blue stars. Your stars stay nice and big, too. Good job. Um, that's looking really good, and then you're ready to start on the red part. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, I screwed up this last time. Oh, well, my arm was literally in front of your face, no, so I'm, I'm so <laughs> sorry about that. Crazy with it. Okay, here is Suzanne's. So, Suzanne's has great watercolor textures and those kind of like blooms those hard lines throughout. So that's really cool that you have great textures. And just so you guys can see, and I'll even show Vicky's here too, like we all have three different star sizes mm -hmm. and that's totally okay. So don't get stressed out on yours, um, but these are looking good. Your texture's looking good. Um, I love how big your stars stayed and the dark within there. I think that looks great. <laughs> Oops, I got one little spot here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is Diana's, <laughs> and that's looking, and I think what, I think both you and Vicky realize this, and I wish I would have said it, is they're actually, if you see the bottom of the stars, they kind of line up in a straight line yes. that are angled across, so this way and this way. So I think you guys kind of just followed that line and then yeah. filled in from there, which is why your stars stayed so big, which is great. So that's a little trick that you can use. Um, I, I wish, I should have said that earlier, before we finish painting Hindsight. that part. <laughs> but if you wanted to paint it again, I can show you guys in the outline. Um, just there's a common line through these, see that angle? Do, so here, 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 here. So you can just follow that line. Mm -hmm. And then also this way. Because these, the, the left part of this star and the bottom right on this are on the same angle. So that line would actually be straight between there, so. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's get started on our red part. So I'm gonna switch to my round six to do this part. However, if you wanna stay with your round two, please feel free to accept Suzanne. 
You need a, <laughs> need a red dick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, but it's just because it's a little bit of a bigger line that it is sometimes okay. easier to do the larger brush. However, do what is more comfortable for you. Okay, and then you can go ahead and start. Um, and actually, if you're, my blue is pretty dark. I don't think anybody else's is as dark as mine. Um, so I'm actually gonna just use the spare glass of water. I think I put one over there if you guys needed one. Um, because if you mix the blue and the red together, you're gonna get a purple or like a more purple, maybe a little brown color. So if your water is really dark blue, you're gonna wanna switch to a different color water. And then you're just gonna start filling in your stripes. So um, I'm just going to get my brush moist and get the stripe wet. And I'm kind of doing, I'm kind of making the line with my brush. So I'm kind of dragging it along the edge. And then I'm just gonna drop in the red and then kind of help it spread around. And I'm gonna try and do the same thing where I'm gonna get color variation because that's just what I like. So um, I'll use like a light red and then I'll drop in some darker red in there and let that bleed out and just kind of let that spread. I'm gonna get fresh water. Okay. You want me to? And then when you get next to that blue part on your flag, just try, try and keep it um, a straight line. It's a little bit hard though, so don't get mad at yourself if it blends over a little bit or if your lines are not perfectly straight. Don't let that bother you. Oh, very cool. That's great texture right there. A lot easier than the stars. <laughs> yes. Um, Karen asked if a flat brush would be easier for a beginner. Yes, if you have like a flat brush or a wash brush, those ones are kind of more square and rectangle. That one you could probably do in one swipe if it's the same width as these stripes, which would be really cool. So if you do have one of those brushes, please feel free to use it. Christy says, you guys, I'm not even painting. I'm trying to cook dinner. I'm holding a big knife, and I'm going to need you to not make me laugh so hard. <laughs> no promises. Keenan, that, rem that reminds me of when um, your family was over, and your daughter Eleanor had a knife. Oh, God. Do you remember? No, you weren't upstairs. <laughs> you weren't upstairs. <laughs> so, what? listen to this. Eleanor and Luna, our daughters are about the same age. They're four. Yeah. And they're at my kitchen table, and I see that Luna has scissors. And I'm like, Luna, can I have those scissors, please? And she's like, sure. And then she goes, Eleanor has a knife. <laughs> and Eleanor takes the knife that's next to her and goes like this. <laughs> like straight up, like just holds it up. And it's not even a butter knife. It's a, it's steak, like a steak knife. knife. And I'm like, oh, where did you get it? Oh, my that? gosh. And I like calmly approach her. I was like, Eleanor can I have the knife? She's and she's like, sure. But she's just holding it like this. And I'm like, thank you. The best part for me was there's that hat, there's that wall in the middle. So I couldn't see Eleanor. I was facing Sarah and Mary. And all I see is them go. <laughs> because she just grabs the knife and holds it. Where did she get a steak knife? It's just in our drawer. I think she just got it out of our She's just looking for scissors drawer. and found a knife I instead. I was super confused as to why they were. She <laughs> because at me. the same time, right when she lifted up that knife and we saw that it was a sharp one, all of us were like. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so There's a really question funny. about brushes and things being in stock, and I would like to address that if that's okay. Yes, Keenan, please. So, I also do the inventory for the company, and there has been an inventory snafu that I've been dealing with for the past couple months, trying to figure things out. And um, our warehouse has been helping me diligently while I work on videos and other things too. Um, but we're getting all the things that are out of stock corrected because. It's a whole long story, but we're getting it fixed really quick. And uh, we should be, it is in stock. It's just telling everyone that we're not, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, just a, it's just a big mess right now. I think the, one of the biggest things I've learned through this company is that like the, the software you work with, like getting to understand that part yeah. of it and making sure that like you understand how to use that software, which I know sounds really basic, but like, it actually is way more complicated than 
you might anticipate. Yeah. So the the hardest thing was the software we use. We started to use apps that go with it, mm -hmm. and they integrate just fine. But they there were certain things we didn't know they would do to our inventory. Yeah. So it moved things to different locations and removed things from inventory when they weren't actually being removed. So yeah. Well, Keenan, thank you for that. Also, thank you for having three jobs at our company. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday just, you'll get paid. Maybe I'm just someday trying to make we'll dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have a lot of uh, stock in the in here right now. I'll yeah. That, so. Yeah, we have some good stuff, and we're working on filling it out more too. So it's, I would like to build up our watercolor. Um, supplies too because maybe liquid watercolors aren't your thing which is totally understandable um, but we should probably carry some others so if you do would prefer the other kind you can get them you know that kind of stuff you know having a business mm -hmm. <laughs> or like just the, the patterns and everything without the paint yeah yeah we're actually I think we're working on that too because we do, do that with a few of our kits and a couple people have requested the subscription without paint so they can use the paint that they have but they still want the educational materials um, which I think is a great idea so I think that's something we're working on also yeah actually in August I will have uh, gotten the enough boxes that I have all the colors really oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so exciting and we are working on putting making your boxes a little bit different and fun. Pretty I don't exciting. Wanna, I don't want to give away too much, but, you know, okay. keep an eye out. Just think of the words fantastic, mm -hmm. incredible, <laughs> majestic. majestic even, oh. but also simple. Ooh. Uh, Teresa asks if we can carry Daniel Smith, and we can, and we will soon, actually. Yeah. yeah. I've never had tried that. Daniel Smith? Yeah, I have. I'll have to send you home with some dot cards. I have some that you can take with you, oh, and they're cool. really fun. Um, Daniel Smith is a great brand. Their paints come in tubes, um, but you can also put them on your palette and let them dry, um, which uh -huh. is what I've done. And they're just really high quality, great colors. Um, um, yeah. I'll have to send Where we live, we have Hobby Lobby and Walmart. Well, soon you can so, buy them at letsmakeart.com. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. What, the, is, what is Santa? What is Santa? Other, Other than the Jolly Elf? Uh, what would Santa be? I don't know what that is, Nikki. Hmm. I don't know what you're asking yeah. me, Keenan. <laughs> 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 Santa Claus. Well, well, it was about Santa Claus, <laughs> and is this the one where you told a joke without knowing? No, what the I didn't. Was? Tell <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, I think I forget. Oh, she's saying he's magical and magnificent and fantastic. So the words I was listing. Oh. <laughs> Santa Claus <laughs> is in our box. We're real slow here. Listen, I'm easily confused. Listen, sometimes Keenan says things, he forgets what he says, then you respond to it when he asks you the question. It's At fine. one point, I read something, didn't believe that I had read it out loud, and was corrected immediately, and it was for this tutorial. I will tell you exactly what it was, because it's really I don't funny. even remember. Still. I do remember. <laughs> We're painting this in the pre-recorded tutorial, but uh -huh. we sped up through some of the blue part because it was just me painting around stars. Uh -huh. But what you missed is I asked Keenan to read some flag facts. Oh, no. oh that's why we fast, I fast forward. <laughs> is that why you fast forward? Oh, yeah, 100%. It? To take that part like, out, nope. you stinker. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened is he said, he read a fact that um, originally when it was just thir the 13 stars for the 13 colonies, every time that they added a new state, they would add a star and also a stripe. 
onto the flag. Uh -huh. And I was just like, man, that would be crazy. Our flag would be like so long. It would be crazy long. And he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, did you even count the stars? He's like, sir, there's 50 stars on there. They Four did it. Stars. And I'm like, no, they said that they would add a stripe on the flag. And he's like, I did not say that. I never said that. And I'm that. like, you literally just read it out loud. And I was right. And then he uh, edited that part I out. I took it out. <laughs> But that's the kind of power Keenan has, yeah. you know? He can make me look like a fool so easy. And <laughs> How are you guys doing on your stripes? Suzanne, look at those. I'm breathing through this so much faster. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, those look good down there, you guys. How are you doing? Good. Good? Keenan also sometimes when you tell him multiple things, his brain shuts off and then like he hears the first couple things and then his brain kind of shuts off. So if I'm like, hey, can you go to the store and get milk, oh. eggs, bread, whatever, I would list off like five things and I'd be like, okay, repeat those back to me so I know <laughs> that you heard all of them. Because his brain will just like, he'll get to the second thing and then his brain like shoots off with a thought and he just doesn't hear the rest of them. He's like, squirrel. Like, you know, I'll text you. <laughs> Exactly. Like, I'll text you a list. Don't worry about it. That's what I just started doing is just, even like lunch orders or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, call my husband. I'm like, what do you want from this place? And he'll tell me. And I'm like, you have to text that to me. I will not remember in two minutes. More things than I can handle. <laughs> now, like on my stripes here. Yeah. When they, it gets a lot darker on there. Is it because I'm using more water? You to... Which part? Like, see how. Oh, kind of like that dark fuzzy edge? Yeah. Is so, it I'm using more water? So what's happening is you're actually using more paint. But what I do to combat that is I actually put the water down first. So if you guys are getting fuzzy edges on your stripes, what you can do to combat that is you actually paint the area using just water and then drop in the red. And that red will not go outside of the watered area. But if you use just the paint directly onto the stripes, just straight dark red paint, like a lot of paint directly on there, yeah. then it will get a little bit fuzzy. Okay. And it's just because the paint is pretty concentrated and this paper um, sometimes, I'm trying to, if you use a different kind of paper with this paint, it won't be as fuzzy because I think the other paper is a little bit more porous and it won't have those fuzzy edges. The paper will absorb that paint a little bit um, better. So that is actually what I am finding. I like the fuzzy edges. I just didn't know yeah. why yeah. I was doing that. Yeah. And if you like the fuzzy edges and you want to have more of them, you're just going to want to use um, just the a lot of the paint and very little water. So you would load up your paintbrush with basically just paint and paint with that and you would get those and you'll get that like textured edge. Britt says that's because guys have waffle brains and women have spaghetti brains. What does that mean? Sometimes it's best to only keep one box at a time. To keep open one box at a time. Oh, spaghetti brains. Spaghetti brain. What does so that like mean? Everything is connected. You guys can oh. focus on a lot of things. So it's just poof. Yeah, 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 Whereas yeah. Whereas guys okay, have okay, like. Okay, okay, I see it. You you compartmentalize. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay. I see what. We got a lot of saying. doors in those boxes, though. I can give some. Uh, Keenan's like, I don't know if lists. I agree with that. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Keenan has no boxes. <laughs> I think, to be fair, I think I sent Keenan to the store for me like maybe one time. Yeah. So the one time he and had me like, messed it up. No. All I brought home were peanut butter M and M's. He just doesn't buy. That's it. all I need. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you need anything stuff, else? <laughs> I just didn't want to get hangry because I only ate sugar. <laughs> Here's a tip for watercolor canvas. Yes. Linda says, when I paint on canvas, even the watercolor canvas, I have to treat the canvas with a gesso. 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 Yeah. And okay. or watercolor okay? ground and let it cure for at least 48 hours. So you still want to treat your watercolor canvas with gesso and then she lets it dry? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that it would 
We have been painting for an hour and 15 minutes. Someone asked. <laughs> They're like, how long Literally. is this going to be? How long have you been painting? <laughs> well, I actually dog just finished mine. Yeah, yeah dog. Oh, We've good. Been here for four you guys days. were just about finished at the same time. Except for one person, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only teasing Suzanne because we're friends. Exactly. I mean, I married a Keenan. You think I can't handle something? <laughs> <laughs> I rarely <laughs> tease people. Life. Oh, Amy says, um, only on my second box, but I've been working through tutorials. I've learned so, so much. It took turning 50 to discover I had an artistic bone, Ooh. maybe the smallest bone in my body, but it is there, <laughs> and has been so much fun. Thank you. Amy, that's so sweet, and that makes me so happy, and... That's exactly what Let's Make Art is for, is because a lot of times we grow up thinking that we either are born with this talent, and if you don't have that talent, then it's not for you and you just don't do it. Um, but that's not how this works. It is a skill that with practice, um, you can improve, and it's really fun. And even if the point of it, and I, and I don't want you guys to think that the point of this is to make you guys professional artists or whatever. That's not the point. The point is to like have a creative outlet. The point is to try something and to just enjoy it. Sometimes it's fun to paint something just to paint it, and then that's it. It's yeah. served its purpose. So you're so amazing for trying something new and for learning that you enjoy this and that it's a lot of fun. That's the whole point of it. Okay. Right there. Suzanne, you're doing right great. So I'm going to peel off my tape. Mine's pretty dry, so I can peel it off. If you have a lot of water on your flag, maybe wait till that dries before you peel off the tape. But when you peel off the tape, you want to do it slowly, and you want to start from the side that's closest to the painting and peel away from it. The reason why you want to do that is if you peel the opposite way and your paper tends has like if it happens to tear, you would end up tearing into your painting. Mm -hmm. But if you peel away, if it does happen to tear, it would tear not on your painting or away from it. So I'm gonna take my paint, I'm gonna go like my top edge and I'm just going to slowly, chunk by chunk, peel away from my paper. If you sometimes do it in one quick motion, although it's very satisfying to do that, Mm -hmm. um, you could end up tearing it. So that's why I like to go a little bit slow and peel away. You mentioned the other paper earlier. Yes. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. I don't think I said a name. You didn't? Oh, well, when we used the, the geometric landscape, I, yeah. I accidentally used that paper, or we did, I think. Yeah. And the tape stuck to that so hard. Oh, really? Yes, that it, it tore most of my paper. It gave it really cool mm -hmm. textures on accident, <laughs> but did not, and I even put it to my clothes like you do, usually tip. I, I wonder if it's because it's a toothier paper and it has like a it like might, rougher texture yeah, that that, that might be tape it. grabs onto it a little bit. I also wonder if it's softer because it's more cotton. Maybe. <laughs> I accidentally dropped paper on, or water on this and I liked it. So I oh, it. I love that. <laughs> I was like, that you was got, on purpose. You got little explosions in there. It's like fireworks. Yes. I was going to do a fireworks project for the 4th of July. I tried really hard. Turns out I cannot paint fireworks. <laughs> 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 well, and a lot of it, like, you understand the fireworks on a dark background because that's usually where you right. see them. Oh, right. But with watercolor, I can't, like, paint the background. Like, like if you have masking fluid, you could probably do it. But um, since we don't have masking fluid in the box, I wasn't able to do it. But maybe one day we'll do that as like a bonus project and then we'll include masking fluid in the kit. Okay. Keenan, how are we going to show everybody our amazing paintings? Well, we could do the thing again or I can try and hook my cell phone up to the sling. How long would that take? Uh, Tiffany asks, after the paint is dry, can you drop in water and make blooms? Uh, yes, you can. They won't be as strong as if you drop in the water while it's damp. You can actually show her this one was after it was dry. So if you look at Suzanne's, 
Oh. So this one you added while it was yeah. wet. Yeah. This one she added while it was dry. So you can see that there is some slight discoloration going on there where that water drop is, but it's not going to be as strong. And the reason why it's not going to be as strong is because when you drop in water in a wet area, it pushes the color to the edge of that water drop. Mm -hmm. But if you drop it in while it's dry, the color is not wet, so it kind of just pushes a little bit out since most of the color has already dried onto the paper. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So you can do it, it just won't be as strong. We close, Keenan? Well, it was working and then it stopped, so we tried. No, it's only giving me a green screen. Okay, that's fine. What if we uh, hold it up to the camera? Could you like, could you like walk forward with that camera? Just, yeah. <laughs> Just don't pull the. Oh, the swing's on the floor. You're not gonna pull it. Yeah, I'm gonna move everything to the floor because I'm smart. Uh, Leslie asked what the project was last week. Last week was the cow. That was the Jersey cow, right? Mm -hmm. So cute. Yeah, that one was fun. You can find that tutorial. And then next week we're doing. Watermelon? Watermelon, thank you. <laughs> Vicki, you're so handy to Dead have hand around. Can you tell I, I have no life? <laughs> no, you have a great life because you spend it painting with us. Yes. I don't know how you want me to. You guys are on the front shot. Yeah. Can you, like, could you carry that camera and move it? Would it stay in focus or no? It will stay in focus. Okay. Last time we tried this. But the sling I is, almost fell over. But the sling is I, on the table. That's why. All right. I think you can do it. Because you pulled the sling off. If we, we go black, Keenan tripped, but I'm sure he'll be okay. <laughs> I'm coming over on the right side. Okay. I'm stuck. This is as far as I can go. Okay. There okay. we go. Vicki, maybe hold yours out. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> There's yeah, Sarah's. Okay, there we go. There's Sarah's. There it is. We got Suzanne's. Suzanne's. There we go. We got Diana's. Diana's. And Mallory's. And, Mallory. and a little bit of the background. <laughs> Good job, you guys. And a little bit of our back area All space of our back studio. here. <laughs> Quote unquote studio. Okay, are we back? I wonder if that gives anybody motion sick to be like. <laughs> I was a little motion sick. <laughs> okay. Um, so. If you guys painted with us, thank you so much for painting with us. It's so fun to get together and just hang out and paint and make it's something. Um, we do have a lot of laughs, I feel. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, oh, so yeah. if you painted, please share it. I know it's so hard to put your stuff out there. I completely understand. And a lot of that is because we feel like we can't post something unless it's perfect. Um, but unfortunately, what that does is that perpet perpetuates the idea that people are really good right off the beginning and they get it right every single time. And that is not how it happens. So just start putting your work out there. It gets easier the more you do it and it gives other people the confidence to do it as well and the courage. People like it when they see vulnerability and they say courage because it gives them permission to be that way also, which is what we're trying to do here. So um, if you are on Instagram, you can tag us in it, let's go make art or hashtag let's make art. I know that that's confusing that our Instagram name is Let's Go Make Art. We're trying to buy Let's Make Art, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it was taken. <laughs> so uh, we also have a wonderful Facebook group. We're doing a contest and giveaway there if you would like to yeah. join. It's separate from our, from our business page. It's called Let's Make Art Watercolor. Um, it's a really supportive community where we respect and understand that we're all on different parts of our journey. And it's just a great way to see how other people are approaching the same projects, the stuff they're doing in their own work, what they're learning. And it's just a great creative space. So you can join that. And um, I think that's all I got to say. Right? Yes, okay. ma'am. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank Bye. You. <laughs>